there's a lot of uncertainty, especially when you do what is what I've heard called day trading, where you're keeping an eye on, is it a bull market, a bear market? How are the returns doing? And you're constantly looking at it to maximize your dollars that are. And that sounds like a lot of stress. And even being an individual investor, it sounds like it takes a lot of attention. Um, there's no getting rid of the risk. So you have to be willing to lose some, to make some, to ride that out long term. So why, why this? Why invest? If, if the goal is more income, if the goal is just to make your money, make more money or what have you, why investing versus um, looking to make your hours make more money, uh, getting a raise or looking for a new job or even investing in a 401k, you know, putting your money there. Um, why the stock market as opposed to anything else? So this is a lot I want to unpack with this question. First thing is what I'm talking about is not day trading. So it eliminates 99% of the work that you think you have to do because it's just, you don't have to do that. You can get great returns. And in fact, some of the best investors say the best thing you can do is nothing. If everybody's selling their stocks, guess what you can do? Nothing. Maybe you don't, maybe you don't buy, maybe you don't sell. Maybe you just say, Oh, that's interesting. You don't have to do anything. In fact, I've never, since I've become an individual investor and in, in managing my own money, I've never sold a stock once. I've had one that almost lost all its value and one that has gone up almost 900%. I don't, it doesn't matter because the returns of most of the stock market come from a few, few companies historically. So if, if one company goes down to zero, that's the lowest it can go. It can go down to zero. Any company can gain infinite amount. It can go to 100 to 200 to 300, 400%. Some companies have gone to 10, 100% of their original value. So because of that, you don't really have to worry about if you're investing in individual stocks that you're going to lose a bunch of money because one company goes bad, unless you don't have a diversified portfolio. So why investing? and not another thing. I don't think they're mutually exclusive. Investing is a way, one, to diversify your income. You're not solely requiring your job to continue. If something bad happens, you still have all this stuff on the outside that is making you money. And your, your net worth is going up while you're at work if you're invested, which is great. And another part of Investing that I think is so powerful is that it's a very inactive tool in order to make more money. When you're working, especially in an hourly job, you can only make, you, your cap is limited in how much you can make. You can only make as much as you can work in 24 hours, which for most people is eight to 10 hours or more if you really want to push yourself. In investing, that money can keep growing and growing and growing depending on how you invest it. And it's very hands off. You're not doing anything. The companies that are part of that underlying investment are doing all the work for you. And that's again, the beauty of the stock market It's a glorious wealth building machine because you don't have to do anything and you make money. And that it's the, one of the easiest ways to get started on on making money in a very indirect way rather than needing to actively do something. Um, so trying to unpack how you can make that, can make it as complicated and as easy as possible, but there are easy ways to get started on that and to start making money that way. And I think that's really important to, you can, you can look for another career, you can look to increase your income, which may be allow you to invest more. And that's a really good thing. And then one comment on the, the, the 401k, that is investing in the stock market, but those are almost exclusively set up to be into funds that are managed by management companies. And that typically will result in worse returns over time. So I personally have zero dollars in any 401k plan 
and I don't plan on telling any at any point because I know that my returns will be better doing it as an individual rather than paying high fees to another company. A lot of people have that. I'm not saying go out and liquidate it today. There are a lot of very intelligent investors who have them, but you do not need a 401k to get started tomorrow or even today.